one significant uh, difference, I guess you'd say, between how we started our channel and uh, Real Russia started their channel. Uh, yeah, just Ser a little difference. Yeah, a little, little difference here, <laughs> yes. Uh, Sergei Baglikov and Sergei Grom, our good friends, both had a background in television and had experience in training in it. We got expired, we got jazzed up. And went, yeah, we want to do that. So we went out and bought a, a video camera that would shoot in high def. And I handed it to Bev and went, here, point it at me and I'll talk. We had, And I said, well, could you at least please tell me how to turn it on and turn it off? Yeah, there was a little bit of a learning curve that, that we had that, that uh, perhaps our friends didn't. 
and if you watch the early episodes, they're pretty crude. Um, yeah, I have no video training, no photography training. I've never taken a photography class or a video class. I just, well, I just point and shoot. You got some bloody experience now, though, <laughs> don't you? I mean, you know, we have, we have studied, we have, have learned. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, over the course of the last year. And uh, I, I think, you know, that Bev's done some remarkable work under some rather adverse conditions. Well, there's been a couple of times when things were strange, but we managed to work it out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and after three plus decades, it's, it's amazing, I suppose, to, to some people that we're able to, to work together on this project, you know, without, without any conflict. And yeah, sometimes we annoy each other, I, I, I know. But, Once in a uh, while. <laughs> <laughs> but for the most part, it's, it's relatively minor. We, we have worked together on so many things over the, over the decades that we have a, a good idea of how to work together and, and what the other one wants and what the other one expects. So yeah. in, a, in a respect, it, it has worked well for us doing this as a married couple that have been together so long because we do understand each other. channel I think we've tried to stay true to that uh, life is fairly normal the only the only the most challenging thing I think for us is that on any given episode or any given week we have no idea what we're gonna shoot so so when we no. tell you that there's no script this is not a joke it's like uh, we have okay. ideas but they don't always turn out and there have been times when we're just like um, okay, gotta go make a video. Grab the camera and the equipment. Let's get in the, the truck or the Explorer and we're going. Where? Well, we'll find something. Yeah, I mean, literally, we it, it's on the fly a lot of times. Uh, we have no idea where we're going to end up. I mean, a lot of times we do, but just as often as not, we, we don't really have a plan. So, I mean, it's not even the fact that there's no script. There's no plan. It,
it's been very interesting to get the feedback from our viewers. I've learned a lot um, from their comments worldwide and I've been amazed by a lot of their comments. One of my favorite videos was the one where I was picking strawberries in Florida. One, because I've always wanted to do that and we usually miss the strawberry season because we're working or something. And number two, when we posted it, there's been a lot of people see it worldwide and we got comments from places like Thailand that said, thank you for doing this. We now know what strawberry plants look like. And I went, what? It never crossed my mind while I was picking strawberries that not everybody knows what a strawberry plant looks like. Just like I don't know what a rambutan or a lychee plant looks like other than what I've seen pictures of. I've never seen one in real life. So it was, it brought things home that, that there are many differences in the world and that everybody appreciates the little things. Yeah, so many things. That's, that's a good example. Like, we have, we have uh, friends in uh, Puerto Rico and who have a coffee plant, and we've never seen coffee grow. It doesn't grow in the continental United States, as far as I know. It's, it's a very tropical sort of a plant, so we've never seen it. Um, so, it, yeah, it didn't really occur to us that so many of the things that we were showing people in other latitudes uh, would, would never have seen. And, and, and I don't think either one of us expected the number of countries that would log in to, to watch our channel. No. I, I, was, I was absolutely surprised at how many people around, first of all, I was surprised at how many people around the world speak English when, you know, I, I only speak, you know, marginal English myself. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, you know, it's like, last check it was like 169 countries have logged in and, and watched our videos and we've we've had comments from from a lot of them so I, I think that was probably one of the most surprising things yes um, what was your favorite video my favorite video yeah wow <coughs> I think probably my favorite video was episode two it was uh, even though we did not have external sound equipment was doing uh, the the one on the beach for hurricane Sandy in, in my in my fall weather gear, that yeah, that be, was a rush. Yeah, that had to be my favorite because, uh, well, first of all, it was a unique opportunity. Secondly, it was so much fun to see the waves come in and wash over you while you're trying to stand still with that camera. The look on your face was priceless, and uh, yeah, of course, I had to see you stand there too. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the regular network news, the the, the people that were competing against, uh, so to speak, that were the do do hype and sensationalism. We're down there, and we got to poke a little fun at them and have some fun at their expense, so that was definitely fun. But I, I think that episode two was probably one of my most memorable ones. I, I think that, you know, I would like to, certainly, I think we'd both like to see more comments from everybody, not only on the, on the comment stream, but certainly on the, fan book, uh, the Facebook fan page. Yeah. Um, we'd like to, to interact with everyone. I certainly would like to encourage you to, to go ahead and try at least say, you know, hello, stuff to you, whatever. Um, that, that would be nice. We would like to, to hear from, from y'all. And most of all, we would like to thank everybody for watching for this past year. It's, it's been amazing. It's been quite a journey for us, and we hope you've enjoyed the ride along with us. And we would like to say thank you so very much for subscribing and watching our videos and commenting it's been very nice to get the feedback so thank you for your time we appreciate it yeah seriously thank you to everyone who's watched our videos thank you to all of our subscribers our supporters the people who have have actually donated money to the real united states video blog so we can keep this going that's that's been a, a huge help um we can't thank you enough for your kindness and your support everyone just, you're all part of this, and this is the same thing that, that Sergei Baklakov said in, in their anniversary issue, was that you're all now a part of this. We're all a part of this together. And, yeah, I don't, I don't even really know what the, the, the words are for that other than, than thank you.
so much, and we hope that you'll continue to, to follow along, to join us, to make suggestions, uh, ask questions. Uh, I don't always have the answers. We don't always have the answers. We try to find them. Um, but, yeah, ask questions, make comments. Th those, are the, those are the real joy in doing this video is the, the human interaction that we have with people around the world. And I, I can't begin to tell you how many friends we have made literally around the world in countries where I never knew a person before. Now now we have people there that we yeah. communicate with all the time yeah. throughout Europe and, and, and Asia and South America and Central America and yeah, the Pacific Rim, all over the world, it's, I could go on and on. I mean, name a continent outside of Antarctica, and we have people who communicate with us from there on a regular basis, and it's a wonderful thing. It's it's such a great social tool to be able to, to interact this way. Incidentally, welcome to our home. This is, uh, this is our living room. And uh, we don't we don't shoot from inside the home too much because well this is our life but it's not necessarily about American life in general and so the the theme of the of the channel kind of compels us to go out and <laughs> pile everything in the truck and go out on the road and find something that's happening out in the world to to video yeah in the coming year uh, we have plans at least to uh, to do an entire series on our nation's capital and um, that's we're going to do that probably in the winter which is not the ideal time to do it but it's it's when we're going to be able to do it hopefully we're going to be able to bring you some real life uh, in our nation's capital um, I think those of us in this this little club, this 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 band of brothers who who do real reality video blogs around the world, that's one of the things that we probably at one point in our, our channel's career will will all do is is our nation's capital. I think we're pretty 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 stoked about season two. Yeah. We'd we'd like to hear from you what you would want to see in season two. Either in the comment stream here or on the discussion page on the main uh, channel page uh, on our Facebook fan page tell us what sort of things you want to see I, I think one of the things people want to see is is uh, is more interaction with with other people on the street yeah people I believe that's true yeah but you know a lot of people are camera shy so I don't happen to be one of them <laughs> but uh, a lot of people are camera shy, but let us know what you think you'd like to see. Uh, if we can do it, we can. If we can't, we can't. That's just the way life goes. So thanks again, everybody, for for a wonderful year. Thanks so much for your support, your generosity, for sticking with us. Um, for those of you that are that are new, welcome to season two. It'll be starting next week, and. We, we hope that you'll continue to enjoy this. We, we hope that you'll continue to comment. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to share.